Hello, my soccer universe. What a brilliant start for the host beating Scotland 5-1. The biggest opening win for any nation and especially also for Germany. And for Germany, this actually means good things because whenever they won the opening game of the Euros, they usually go at least to the semis. I mean, you still have to get there, but it's a tendency right there. Also, before we get more into the game and all the surroundings, I want to point out, you know, 10 years ago, they won the World Cup by beating Portugal 4-0. There was also a player being sent off. So there are quite some parallel dares that get Germany already a little bit more excited than they were ahead of the tournament. But we also have to say that, you know, it was relatively easy to beat this Scotland side. But first things first you know uh tournament study was the big question was always how will be the mood in the country all overall but you could see already on all the public viewing uh sites it was relatively full people were getting fully into the into the mood that a big tournament is happening and of course a german performance a german wind would set this off to the next level However, at least when it comes to supporting your team, I think on the day, and especially in Munich, uh, Scotland outdid them. And this was the one win that they had. And you know, there are now the memes out there that say that Scotland, uh, just before the game, they were like, brave heart. And then after the game, it was most train spotting. It's really not good to be Scottish, uh, let's put it that way. The opening ceremony, I love that my girls uh, just said this was a whole lot of stupid dancing. <laughs> and yeah, I actually expect a little bit more, you know, dancing, yes, but a little bit more traditional stuff in there as well. At least it was just a 10 minute ceremony. Or it was it? I mean, it almost derailed the timetable for uh, the kickoff because I think we kicked off one or two minutes late. Doesn't really matter. Uh, national anthems, again, Scotland, fully there absolutely loved it uh this gave me the feels like we had when italy opened the last euros but then it was all germany then it was all germany and ahead of the game the big question was how will scotland try to play against this german team who is basically wingerless will they go on a high block or a low block well they decided on a low block uh and germany almost immediately tried to score again uh and watch out for austria there too um and then it was Ger uh, scotland staying deep and giving all the time to for especially for tony cross and so on to really show the brilliance and there was a lot of pass 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 they tried to fill the route and i told my girls in the first 10 minutes it's gonna be a long game if scotland really defend that deep this is really really gonna be a long game nah it really wasn't because at one point cross really drops deep plays a brilliant diagonal ball over to kimmich plays it over to Wirtz, who at this moment was completely free Makes a shot from the edge of the box and I have to say gun did not look really good on that one as well. And it's 1-0 Germany and already at that point I said this could be a really long evening if you're a Scotland fan. And so it proved to be. Because let's face it, uh, there was more of the same in the next 10 minute junk. Again, pass, 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 Scotland being deep, uh, you know, but without being really compact. I mean, Germany could pass to their heart's content. And then they find another one. Uh, this, this was Gundogan uh, getting through the defenders, playing it uh, for Havertz, who seemingly actually killed the chance of only to find Musiala. No one's marking him. He yanks it into net, 90 minutes, 2 mil. And at that point, I knew this is going to be a rout. And it was only the question how big it got. There was a penalty call, uh, Musiala being brought down. I honestly so thought that the main action of the foul was inside the box. I see it started outside so okay penalty was way wave, waved off and then you know the first yellow card was actually given to andrich which i found a little bit funny but you know uh, you know keep it calm keep it calm i guess nervousness is getting to him as well and then there was another penalty given uh, that was initially not not given but another brilliant move by the germans Porter's done with a rough tackle on uh, gundogan needed war review it took maybe a little bit longer than i would have liked uh, but he's sent off with a red card for a really rough challenge and then penalty and Harvard's converged that one. It's 3 0 at halftime. Game was done at that point. So, second half was more or less only, uh, you know, how nicely do you play it out and how many goals will, will be scored. I think there was another call for penalty for Musiala. And then uh, Nagelsmann did some, could even do some really smart things. I mean, 
he took off Andrich, who was on the verge of getting another yellow card and maybe being uh, banned then. Uh, so uh, Gross came, came, came on. Um, and then he brought on Füllkrug for Harvard. He brought on Sané for Wirtz, you know, getting everyone involved. And Füllkrug then duly scores a goal, a brilliant shot, what a thunderbolt in the 60th minute to make it 4-0. He then thought that he had the fifth one, but he was offside. Out of nowhere, Scotland got the goal and it was an angle. So I mean, all the goals scored were actually by Germany this time, Rüdiger heading it in uh, after McKenna cross from a free kick and one of the few out there, however. Emre Can, another brilliant shot from the edge of the box, 5-1. The stats tell you a story. I mean, Scotland had expected goals of zero, zero. Well, I've seen another one where it's a 0 0.01. Uh, Germany 2.28 uh, is because most, many of the goals came from the outside of the box. But Germany actually played well, but they were also really allowed to do so. So it was really one way football, if you would like, and it was not looking good for Scotland. They did not do what you have to do against Germany. Germany had the whole field to play. They now lived in confidence. I think Germany might be good for a semi-final spot. Although, you know, there will be tough opposition coming. It's really hard to judge from this Scotland performance. In the overall picture for the tournament, if you just look at the, the projections, not much really has changed. Germany will win, Scotland will, is last in the group, uh, so there are no changes right there. Uh, also favorites have been a little bit, Germany is now moving ahead of Belgium. I did a little bit adjustment to my rating as well, so the other movements are because of that. Today we have actually three quite interesting matches don't sleep on hungary against switzerland yes the last time switzerland played in cologne this was one of the most boring matches ever played against ukraine apparently sure, sure, sure. but other than that i think this could be a really interesting one because those two teams could actually make a big claim of moving on into the group stage but you know maybe it will end up in a draw spain against croatia is probably the eye-catching one. That could be a really interesting one. Will be played in Berlin, so I um, expect many Croatian fans there. And I think the sleeper is Italy against Albania, an Albanian team that has many players playing in Serie A, so the two know each other well. And uh, it's also an Albanian team that plays quite attacking. And if Italy can gel and play Spalletti ball, this could be one of the games of the tournament. Early on, will probably not be, but that's my opinion. So yeah, we're off to a good start. Let me know what you thought about the game yesterday. Which games are you looking forward to today? I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.